what's up guys, it is JBeebs here, and welcome to the, this episode of the Fleetwood Town Career Mode series. We're going to start this episode off by looking at our Youth Academy. Gabrielle Morales is proving to be what could be a very good player for us. From that right wing position, Coyote is developing well still. Barati is still developing... Granero is not developing as much, so I'll promote him to the senior team. Along with Santos. Uh, okay. Second time now, I'm just going to get rid of Santos. Alright. Got our youth scouting reports back. Their scout in Ghana. Potentially got us two good players. Scout over in Mexico might be a good player, probably not. Perfect. Um, yeah, same old. You can get promoted to the squad right now. All right, let's go. Let's go look at some of these players. I must have just completely ignored this guy earlier because I, I don't like having balanced on them. You know, I have a. I do have a style I want us to be playing. Alright. Sung Soo Lim is a defensive mid or a center back. Honestly, if we could, keep, if we could be a really big, strong physical pro, uh, presence to re I mean, re replace. Uh, what's his face? Rossiter? Yeah, defensive midfield. Oh yeah, we got some stinkers down here. He's six foot six. Sorry, let's see if we can develop a plan and switch him to a striker. So I do like to have a uh, a really big, tall backup striker. Just because you know, late in the game, you need someone for headers. Send him up there. I think. I think. I think we'll just play Shrewsbury. I like the later ha later uh, later in the month games. So yeah, well, guess what? Yeah, we'll play Shrewsbury. We're not playing Sunderland, because presumptuously, they're going up. But we beat them. Not bad, not bad at all. Up to 12th place. We're uh, back down to 14th now. Who's out? Oh, it was... Batty. No, no, draw. That's okay, we're missing one of our starting center mids. <laughs> Pretty understandable. We're not playing Crow Alexander, they're one of the better teams. But we beat them. I don't know. This team keeps getting my hopes up. It's just this. I think we're going to do terribly the next thing you know. We win a couple of games in a row. And it's like, oh. Are we going up?
And then we lose to, like, Northampton. And it's like, oh, we're not going up. But we should, we should get top 10. I mean, easily top half. Um, yeah, squad looks good. You don't know, we're going to be playing a 4-2-3, Cairns in goal. Connolly, Mulgrew, center backs, Doncia and Andrew. Outside backs, roster, defensive mid, Finley, Batty, center mids, McKay, Camps, outside mids, and Beltron at striker. That's how we've been playing for the last couple of months. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you. Can we take your seats? And we'll start getting the questions in now. Thank you. Come on, boys. Big game. Big, big game. Well, they're all big games now. We can't, we can't be dropping points. <sighs> I actually don't even know if I want to get promoted. Like, I know that sounds kind of dumb, but, like, we would, we would die in the championship. Like we would need some insane Our cameras on one man in some the insanely good today, transfers. But is he going to be retiring? This is EA TV. Well, most of the fans in attendance here are about to bring their umbrellas. Thank you for attending today's League One fixture. At home. Will you please welcome Perfect. Let's give the fans a game worth watching. Dude, they're playing a 5-2-2. Two, and two. So I don't know how, what we're going to have to do to be successful. Why are they talking about whole city in third? Oh no. You're kidding. How does that even happen, guys? They're so defensive. Like, look at this. They're truly playing with their full five man wall sitting on top of their box. Well, the focus on many of the back pages coming into today's game, very much on him. If you believe the stories coming out of the cup, this could be his final. <sighs> How do we? Daniel Batty. Carrying by Batty. Oh my. I genuinely don't know how. How do we break this team down? It just feels like they have 12 players on the field. Like, look at this. 
but I'll see him get wide. Okay. Run there from Beltron. Oh, good, good attempt, McKay, good attempt. Can't slip the ball in, right to their goalie's hands. I'm hearing that there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Who is it for, Alan McAnally? It's a goal for Rochdale. Where is our midfield? There we go, switch off. He's protecting it well. And a useful cross. And he's clear Big it's win for Mulgrew there. Intense pressure. Finley. Can they trouble the opposition this time? If their team is just if these guys are huge. As you can see, the visitors haven't had too much of the ball, but on the break they've been devastating. Pace really hurts defenses. They've been electric when they've had the ball. Opportunity here. Showing good defensive judgment. And also the one thing that this team does oh no, play it out wide to McKay. Also the one thing this team does not have a lot of is size. You know, that normally isn't an issue, but when you play a team that drops back and has a bunch of six foot players oh. what a hit from Finley that was oh, that didn't go in On Beltron. Yes, Beltron! Let's go. Oh. We needed that. We needed that badly. Good job for McKay. Good job, Beltron, just staying in between the two center backs. Excellent job there, Finley. Oh, you see him back post. Oh, no. Ah, that, that'd be like a perfect cross to get there, though. Like, don't really care, McKay. You got us a goal. You already have one assist. I can't be upset with you. I'd like more from you, but I can't be upset with you. Good move. But not allowed to go anywhere with Connolly. Alright, good. Do not mind going in a halftime tide. Because I would admit that they are playing better. I think this could end up really being a 1-1 draw. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half how little of success way. we've had. Batty. Maybe he's offside. I will say, camps really in the last couple of episodes, last couple of months, is really just kind of Kind of died off. And I think it was because 
at the beginning of the season, we relied on him so heavily. I think now he's just playing his role and he's not, you know, playing our entire team. I think that's why he just, he just kind of seems to have dropped off, but I think he's still playing just about the same. How's offsides? How is he that wide open in our box? Like that's just simple knowledge. Of, you, you don't just leave a man unmarked in your box. Talking to. Camp? Oh, you're kidding. And Camp is offside. What's the foul? Still don't know what the foul was. Does he have one? Does he? Oh, let's, oh, let's go, Batsy. I was telling you, I told him to, told him to do it earlier. What a hit. I mean, the lane just opened up and... Wow. What a hit. Once again the sides are level. This is a kaleidoscope of shifting emotions. What a hit. Jeez. That takes a lot of shots of you, buddy. Oh, camps. There we go. Ah, oh, why that ball is going to camps there? He's about to redeem himself. A little bit of a risky pass there. Right back, surging forward, corner. Game is not over yet.
They're still pushing. Handball. Thank you. Point Andrew. Lost that a little bit more. Oh, what a flop. That was a professional flop there. That was so soft. Been through. Yeah. Yep, that's a yellow. That's a yellow. You took out Finley. You cannot be doing that, Roshan. <sighs> right on the doorstep. Batty. Oh, that was his weak foot. And he was being held. Keeper. Okay. Ah. Didn't have anywhere to go. Connolly. That's where I wanted to cross to go. There's no one was there. They'll try and slide there. Go, numbers, numbers, you numbers for the counter. Beltran, run. Run in behind, dude. Those are your instructions, so you should obey them. Maybe it's like I know what I'm doing. So, last attack. Okay, you gotta get inside a little bit more. <gasps> yes! Go celebrate with the fans. Game is over. Let's go. Let's go. What a finish. What a ball. Oh, beautiful. And you got taken out by the keeper. Could have potentially argued for a pen there as well. That didn't go in. Let's go. That's the hat that has to be last kick. Let's go, boys. What a way to Oh. What a win. Yep. There isn't any Oh, you can't write games like that. I mean, look at this. Literally, the dying seconds of the game. Cross field through ball. Ugh. Just got a couple of questions for you. Oh, see, I knew we were going to win the entire time. Thank you for your time. <sighs>
what a win. That moves us up. I mean, doesn't. Actually, we don't move up at all. It puts us in a better spot, though. We'll check our league. We'll check our table position. Once we finish the sim game against Gillingham. Or Gillingham. I don't know. Quick sim that. 2 0 victory. So currently in the league, as we end this episode of the Fleetwood Town Crew Mode series, we are eight points off of promotion and we are in 10th place. If we don't go up this season, this is a promising sign that next season, assum assuming we keep our key group of players, we should be very competitive. But anyways, that is going to conclude an exciting episode of the Fleetwood Town Career Mode series. I hope that you guys all have enjoyed, and it is Jay Beebs signing off.